Yo, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Valkyria Chronicles Chapter 8, The Woodland Snare, Part 1. Why Part 1? Because this chapter features two battles, and therefore I will probably split it into two episodes, which will make a lot of sense. One episode per page. Alright, let's go. Let's get into the surprise attack. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. If you get hurt! Largo! We've gotta move our butts now! Two more minutes and we'll be dead! Damn! No choice. We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover! Come on, Isara! Now! Right. Oh, snap! separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah! Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts, but you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Yep, here comes our first battle, and yes, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a two-man sneaky stealth mission. So yeah, there's even stealth missions in this game. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. Oh, you'll only be two units out there, and your positions are predetermined. Yes, that's where we need to go. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the perimeter they've set up out there. Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. You'll see no sidelines for enemies more than a set distance away and be unable to see them in action mode. You also don't have access to the wireless communication equipment in your tank, meaning no orders. Be careful. So yeah, Welkin and Alicia must reach the final destination and the failure is Alicia dies, Welkin dies, 20 turns pass. Alright, ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. Yes, this is very important. You should not get spotted. Here we are. Wow, it's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry, I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Long-range mortar has been detected. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. Yes, basically, um, 
we'll see where the mortar shell is gonna land and it will land there next turn. So all the all the thing you have to do is just stay out of the red circle. Alright, let's move with Alicia first and you'll see she is hurt. <coughs> yes, her movement speed is really slow. So this bridge is out. <coughs> So yeah, her movement speed is greatly reduced and which means she will... Also, there are mines out here. So we have to be aware of that very much. Um, I don't think we're in the mortar area. Also... Enemy unit spotted. So yeah, there are enemies all around. Why did I heal myself? Am I stupid? It's not exactly what I wanted. Anyway... And it doesn't really matter that the scout is almost in the mortar area. That doesn't really matter. Uh, we gotta take him out. Yeah, gotta love nature. We'll do that with Welkin because he is much closer. There we go. Less CP, that doesn't really matter in this map, I feel. Yes. Because as long as they don't really spot you, there's not much danger. Also, if you wonder what these glowy things are... He will explain. Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. Yep. So, these basically show us, like, secret paths. Also, do you think this flower looks suspicious? You're goddamn right! You found an herb that helps heal injuries. Bring Alicia here to apply it. So, yes, this is medicine, which will allow Alicia to move quicker. And we still have one CP left, so we try to let her move to that flower if we can. I don't think she will get there this turn, but next turn she will. Uh, maybe? No, not close enough to trigger the end vent, though. So yeah, we need to move through this area all up to the north. And we'll, we're not going to see like enemy movement, as far as I know, that much, because we almost have no vision. We know there's some guys around there, probably patrolling, but we don't know any more than this. And now, on our turn, boom, mortar. Here we go. First thing, next mortar. So it's going to fire pretty much at the same position, unless you move past a certain point, then it will aim at the next position, so to speak. So this is almost kind of like they know where you are, but not quite. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, that's stupid. Now I have to... It's it's pretty weird. Now I need to change to Welkin to apply the the bloom. Ready to go. It's pretty stupid that I didn't walk further the first time around. I should have done that. Because then I would have got it in the first round. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. So yeah, basically you apply this to her. There's several of these you can find in the map. And... Uh, Basically, what they do is they uh, heighten the movement speed of uh, Alicia. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. 
Yep, so these searchlights move around in certain patterns. This one is mainly on the way here. And basically you have to move past it. Um, if you me. hit it, yes, as they say, uh, said, the mortars will land closer to you. Which is, of course, something you don't want to. Also, I don't want to go too close to that grass over there, because there's actually an enemy hidden inside, as far as I remember. Now Alicia should be able to move a little bit faster. It's not really noticeable right now, but once you apply like two or three of these um, herbs, you will actually move a lot faster than normal. And we'll basically just put her here and wait. Alright. So this is uh, like a whole different um, dynamic of mission. You got a, just two units, you know, you move stealthily and see there's a guy. Also, if you're asking yourself, what the hell is this defense town thing? Um, that's basically the enemy having a special weapon. I, at some point, can give my guys these kind of weapons too. W which will then trigger certain effects if you hit enemies with them. There's like defense down, attack down, stuff like that. Alright, mortar is going there. Alicia will cross the river. My turn, okay? And of course, as you might imagine, with her it's a bit harder to actually dodge these spotlights. You need to be a lot quicker. Um, you need to basically find the optimal way to um, dodge these. Which would be over here. Actually, you can walk all around the spotlight like this. Yes, it's a bit slower, but... And I mean, while we're here, we know this guy is somewhere there. Even though we don't see him, no. you can actually damage him like that. And now we have spotted him, which is pretty fun. And now together with Alicia, now. we can oh. double team him and get him out of there. Right on the money. Now we cannot really advance too far because there is a mortar shell going down. Like right in front of us. So we'll basically move over here and then um, that's going to be our turn. Also, always be careful of these mines because... You have no engineer in this uh, game, in this mission, so you cannot really deactivate any of these mines. Right, I think the mortar shell should not hit me. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't, but... Well, we'll see. <laughs> right, there's some other guys over here. Boom. No, it did not hit. Good. Very nice. So the next one will land really close, which is a bit awkward, but okay. I will select Alicia first this time. And we're gonna cross this uh, little island here, so, or over to this grass island, so to speak. I mean, there's a lot of time. This searchlight is so slow. Here's a bit th the more difficult part, because you have to cross all this way here. So that's the reason the searchlight do does this, this huge round, basically. So that she can get through with her ankle. So now we did it the right way around. We moved Alicia here first, and now we're gonna get there with Welcome and apply the remedy. Ready to go. Oh, gotta love nature. Of course, for him it's not really a problem that searchlight, as you can see. And now apply the second one. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. 
And now I'm gonna wait here. Yeah, we're gonna end our turn here. Save that CP for next turn. Because there's two guards in the next section and we should take both of them out. And if we just took out one guard, there might be a possibility that they spot us, so... That's why we didn't do it. At least I think there's two guards there. Booyah! Next mortar strike, still behind us, so we got a nice clear way to go here. Now she can move even further. Yeah, see, two enemies. So we can attack them, or we can try to run past them, I think, because they haven't spotted us as far as I know. So we can basically just crawl through this. Now, oh shit, now he has spotted us. Now we need to kill him. Oh, that's not good. We shall throw a grenade then. Tie the immortal. He's pretty beefy. The other guy almost got killed there, but... Ready to go. <sighs> Gotta love nature. Oh, you shut up, bitch. Mm, yeah, I need to end my turn here because I need a second attack to get this guy down. Here we go. Now wait until the searchlight has passed. There we go. Get up close. Oh, shit. This guy is really, really tough. Maybe we can throw him on his own landmine. I don't even know if that works. And now he has us in his um, in his sight, so this means Alicia should be able to kill him. Oh, that is awkward. I need to get really, 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 really close. <laughs> that was way too close, actually. <laughs> I c didn't re recall that this was such a hard enemy there. I mean, yeah, it's a reason why he's called Tidy Immortal, I guess. But, Jesus. Oh, that took a lot of shots. Boom. Alrighty then. Where's the next mortar gonna fall? Yeah, that is annoying. So basically we're gonna try to get past with Alicia if we manage it. Actually we should manage it, we have a lot of um, movement points. Actually, yeah, that's true, it doesn't really uh, heighten your speed, I think it heightens your your movement. Oh shit, and I forgot again that I need Vulcan here. Shit. But yeah, I'm al already past the mortar strike, so it's no problem. Gonna give her some more AP. Uh, gotta love nature. And number three. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No, I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. <laughs> All right. So, our next plan here... So you see this searchlight is moving quite weird here. It's making like a zigzag movement. Now we should be able to get over here. 
Lie down. And that is where we're gonna end our turn. And next turn we're gonna reach the, uh, the end position, so to speak. Now Alicia has a lot of... Um, oh! Yeah, that is not good. Now, there's also a mortar firing right on our freaking head, basically. Actually, it's, it's firing a bit like over here-ish. It could hit Welkin. That's not good. <laughs> I didn't think about about the the stupid um, uh, searchlight there. Might hit Welkin here, <laughs> which is not good. That hit Welkin. He's alive though. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's, it's just a mortar hit. Come on. Oh, but they know where we are now. <laughs> which is not uh, not too bad because you know. The goal is like right over here. Just get there and be done. Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. So yeah, basically you can get there with one character way before the other one, and you could just basically run ahead with Welkin and just get there with her. Okay. You could do that. It's not a smart plan, but you could. That was close. Well, it doesn't matter here, but it still was close. And there we go. Operation complete! Yay! Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. C rank, yes, you could have done faster. You always could. Season ZMP, ZMMP3. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Walker. <laughs> this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Isn't that nice? So he got through the bottle pretty nicely. 
Um, I guess we're gonna also watch this episode, I suppose, and then I think we should be finished with that page. Maybe it will also start like one sequence on the second page. Might be. We'll see about that. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me! Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God! Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... <sighs> well, as you can see, this game has also some very, like, almost touching moments. Showing you not only, like, the the normal side of war that you always see in the, in, in the normal war games, I guess. Also, like, a bit of compassion, you know? For your fellow soldier. They're all just humans in the end, aren't they? So, right now we're gonna update our units before the next battle, because we, of course, earn some experience. Um, guess we're gonna cut this out too. I mean, we're still at a half an hour, even if we did only half of the page. But yeah. So, um, I guess I'll see you in a few minutes when I updated my units. Well, hello! A bit earlier than I expected to. I didn't want to cut this out because this is a special point in the game where we begin to branch out with our rifles here. So as you can see, here we can um, change the way our rifles work. So this is a Galleon 4 and now we can upgrade it in a Galleon A1, Galleon S1 or X1. So what's the difference here? There's a firepower boost, which means it deals more damage. Galleon A1 would be 26 damage versus person and 51 versus armor. That doesn't mean it, it deals damage when you actually hit the armor of a tank. It means if it, you hit like the blue part of the tank, the Ragnite Radiator. So yeah, this gives you a bit more damage. Then there's the accuracy boost, which gives you a bit more range. One damage less. And then there is the added effect, the X1, which um, gives you actually worse aim than normally. It gives you worse range than all of the others, worse damage, but it lowers the defense of the enemies. Now, this of course can be very good. For example, having your scouts equipped with that, hit some guys from far away, get your shock troopers in and just mow them down while they have low defense. This is something you can go for. I tend to go with the accuracy boost because I use my scouts like small snipers, get like really um, on like on the flanks and try to snipe some guys from the sides. So I'm normally going with accuracy boost. All set for you, bro. Also, you can see now the rifle starts to um, every, like every two levels the rifle looks different. This is also pretty cool. So I think, actually, all, all of the rifles have now a branch, right? Oh no, the others don't yet. Alright, so I'll see you next time, I guess, in this menu when the others start to branch out. Alright, so we are ready for the next page, but of course this is gonna be in part two of the Woodland Snare. 
Um, as you can see, we got some uh, more stories ahead of us, then a battle, and some more story before this chapter, chapter wraps up neatly. All right. So thank you for watching another episode of Valkyria Chronicles, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Yeah.